What is up guys and welcome back. We today are at Polaris Fashion Place. It's just Columbus. Columbus, Ohio. Polaris Fashion Place. This mall is massive and I'm gonna give you guys a walk around. I'm trying to get everybody's questions, comments, concerns in the video. Slow down, speed up, focus on people's tables. Don't focus on people's tables. <laughs> That's what it's like on this side of the camera sometimes, guys. Which is all good, I love it. Uh, I'm gonna grab this side. <clears throat> Ooh. Candy apples. Beautiful cutting boards. Ah, that's actually gorgeous. It's more like a charcuterie. That's really cool. So you guys can find him like that. Also does the t-shirts, which is cool. Not very chatty today, guys. Pour up to pork. So last year, guys, so we're clear down there where you see that like ring of lights down there. Way down there, we're way down there. Last year, we were right here and it was terrible. I do wanna highlight for you guys because um, the two guys that own this company here are the ones who put on this show and have a very unique store here in the mall. Do mostly Buckeye themed things. They're just a local company doing local stuff. They've been in the mall here for a while and they work with the mall to put on this show every year. They do lots of shows around the area as well. Uh, but this mall is massive. I mean, I, I cannot express to you. <laughs> I'll, I'll just show you. There's Macy's, beautiful as always. Coming from the visual merchandising world slash marketing merchandising. That's classic Macy's right there. Gorgeous, they do a good job. California Pizza Kitchen. Like this mall, guys, is just, <laughs> it is insane. This will be most likely because we're eight days out from Christmas. This will most likely be the busiest day in this mall for the year. Second floor of Macy's. The candy spot. I don't know, guys. <laughs> The craft show portion of this is not very big. I'm gonna move and groove pretty quick, guys, because I'm telling you, this store, this mall is massive. Not that I wanna waste your time walking around the mall. Um, but, the, but the craft show portion is not big. It seems like a little smaller than it was last year. And I do apologize for not getting a video out to you guys yesterday. The day just got away from us a bit. Ended up back at the chiropractor. Saks Fifth. What? You guys ever been to Saks Fifth Avenue on Fifth Avenue? Oh, that's where we are down there. 
that's H right there doing her thing while I walk around and talk. William Sonoma, Williams Sonoma. All right, I think that was about a third of the mall, quarter of the mall. This mall was very well designed, very well built. But again, super massive. Sephora, Pottery Barn, I mean, there's just some major, major retailers in this store. That's mostly due to the rent. So yeah, yesterday guys, I got up, took care of the goats, trimmed some more hooves. Uh, wrapped some soap, I think, I'm, I think I wrapped three or 400 bars of soap this week. And when I was about a third of the way through wrapping my soaps. Hold on a second. So this is the second floor entrance down there. Um, I just felt my back like almost slide out of place and was squeezing a nerve and it was just like a, like a hot piece of metal stabbed in my back. It was instant pain, instant burning, stinging, whatever you want to call it. And pretty much immediately called the chiropractor and he was like, yep, come on over. So I'm like 20 minutes from his place. And uh, he got me in and got me situated, but it took about two hours before I could finally move. So I was laying flat on the couch for a couple hours. And then we had to get up and then we had to roll a hay bale down to the girls because you guys know the other bale was, I guess I've got to loop around here. The other bale was molding and rotting and trying to catch on fire. Uh, so we had to get another bale and get that down to the girls. We also had to get it out of the truck so that we could come here today. This is like the food court, and I'm telling you right here, the, the Nori Japan sign right there. Oh, they have the most amazing food. Von Mar. Journeys, I mean, this, this small guys is the pinnacle of quality malls around here. All right, that is the top leg. Now I gotta see if I can find my way <laughs> back down to the bottom. But uh, yesterday, so we, I, I ended up, so, so, I had to figure out how to get the bale out of the truck without being able to push on it like we normally do. And so I rigged up a little, I basically drove a T-post into the ground. Hooked the chain to that, drove a steel pipe into the round bale and then drove out from under the round bale. And just dragged it out onto the ground. Once they're on the ground, they're pretty easy to manipulate. Lincoln does a really good job of wrapping them really tight. So they're very firm. So it rolls like rolling a car tire or something. It's just getting it off the truck. And then we've decided to, since H has a bad back and I'm going to her chiropractor now, we just decided to not stand it up when we got to the barn. Just left it on its side like we have in the past. We put some hay around the bottom of it, guys, just for safety. Some people were concerned that it might roll and hurt one of the goats, but it is inside the cage. And we did kick some hay up under the bottom of it. Which way? Oh, I didn't take you guys this way. 
I mean, there are just some gorgeous shops here. Standard JCPenney. I didn't even think JCPenney was open anymore. So that's weird and pretty cool. I love the Oakley store. I just don't want to spend the money. <laughs> I have got to find an escalator or a stair or an elevator. I really thought there was one closer. Guys, I'm telling you right now, by two, three o'clock, you will not be able to walk through here. It's insane. I'm sure they're probably over capacity on a legal number of people in the building. But who am I to say? Sephora. I can't find my way down. <laughs> What the crap? I know there's a... I know there's a second escalator or stairs. Um, what was I saying? Round bail. Got the girls around bail. They're all fat and happy. A lot of people talking about uh, not being able to get their goat bread. Their goats bread this year just had somebody reach out to me yesterday who purchased a goat from us or two goats three goats and she had bred one of her goats not not one of one of her goats she already owned not one of our goats and she didn't take so she needed to breed again and if you guys have been watching around I know a lot of you follow the same channels we follow which is you know Wiedemann Reed, Blue Cactus, Arms Family, Cog Hill, it's just across the... Oh, by the way, this is actually in the mall. If you want to know how big the mall is, when you can have an anchor store, like the field house, like this, with five full-size basketball courts, a bounce house, a play zone, climbing walls over there, it's crazy. It's crazy. I've been in some big, big malls out in California. Hawaii, Hawaii, the mall in Hawaii wasn't too big. Uh, Atlanta's got some big, Chicago has some huge malls. Maybe someday I'll let you guys in on what I used to do. in some of my former lives. I'll just chill out up here for a second until they clear the stairway. I don't wanna be just walking down behind somebody with a camera. It's weird. Okay. So this is the view from the top up here. Just seating areas bigger than my house. <laughs> This mall's insane, and they do it right, and they do it very well. I feel like they think of everything. Even the restrooms are gorgeous, well laid out. And that's how you pull anchor stores like Macy's and Saks. So get some more cutting boards. There's another soap table here, and that guy is so freaking cool. He is a true salesman. Ran into him last year. I'm not gonna walk the whole leg of the bottom, but I think we're pretty much out of the vendor space now. As our vendors, these guys are all vendors that have a permanent spot here in the mall. Oh, that's adorable. Sorry, you guys get what I'm you guys get what I'm showing you. <laughs> Somebody suggested if you're a true fan and you're watching to the end, which we're coming up on very quickly, to go ahead and pop a goat emoji in the comments just to let me know you made it to the end of the video. I would buy just about anything in this store except that shoe right there. 
legit. I gotta look them up because I guarantee you they started out as a handmade shoe company. I just wanted to finish with you guys down here to show you the, it's called the field house. But yeah, that's massive. All right, I'm gonna get myself back over. Oh yeah, they even have ping pong over on this side of the seating area, just for funsies to hang out. And we're right next to Lush, but that's okay. We still, uh, we still Lush customers all the time. So many people are like, oh, I never buy anything other than Lush. But now I buy your stuff. <laughs> so that is it, guys. I am back to our table. Hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. That's all I got. Because we are here from 7A, now well, 7.30 to uh, 10P. And then it'll be go home, which is an hour drive, which gets us home at 11. Are we done at nine? We might be done at nine. Anyway, obviously then we have to take care of all the animals, pack up for tomorrow and be back here in the morning. That is all guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my apologies for the lack of a video yesterday and we are out. Love you all and goodbye.